Hi, and welcome to Buzz TV, where we are on a mission to rededicate America to God. We are working on a series for the First Landing 1607 Declaration of Covenant event this April, and we have with us a fantastic guest who has been involved since the beginning. His name is Reverend Bill Cook. He is the founder of the Black Robe Regiment, and his association of pastors and churches are seeking to secure blessings of liberty to themselves and their posterity, which fits perfectly in with our mission. Welcome, Reverend Bill Cook. It is great to be with you, Donica. So good to have you. You know, we talk about the generations at this first landing event and your mission here is perfect for what we're doing. Can you elaborate on why you think this is such an important event? Uh, why I think it's important is, is because, you know, it's like John Winthrop said in his sermon that if America turned away from God, we would invoke the curses of God on our nation if we turned to ungodliness. And so it's imperative that, that we return to the covenant that we made with God in the initial founding of this nation, uh, because God, God bases all of what he does on covenant, the covenant that he makes with mankind. God initiated the, initiated the covenant with this nation in the beginning, and it's up to us to renew it. I think it's pretty apparent that we've, we've moved away from that covenant over the years. I would agree wholeheartedly. And you are doing a lot with your organization to try and save America and to restore that covenant. I know that you have a wonderful pastor's huddle uh, and is that a weekly broadcast that you have? It is. Tell we, us a little bit do, about we're that. Not do it this week. We're not going to do it this week because of Easter week, but we do do it weekly. And basically the pastors who are involved in America's Black Robe Regiment from different states get together on a Zoom meeting and they talk about what they're doing. They report in and they, they troubleshoot. They encourage each other. They pray for one another. And basically they incur, they they provoke each other to keep pressing forward to secure liberty in this nation. That's wonderful. Hey, tell us a little bit about the background of Black Robe Regiment, because a lot of people may not know that incredible history. You know, it, I was, it tickled me when you said I was the founder of the Black Robe Regiment, because uh, <laughs> there's a lot of, there are a lot of, uh, I'd call them uh, small organizations throughout the United States that call themselves Black Robe Regiment. And, uh, the real founder of the Black Robe Regiment was the British during the American Revolution because they, they referred to the American clergy who wore full length black robes as the Black Regiment. They, it's because the clergy wore black gowns when they preached. And, uh, it was really kind of a slam on the clergy. It was an insult on what they did. Anyway. Yeah. So saying that, I just want to want to just finish with that on is that. It was it was a rebellion against tyranny. The clergy were at the forefront of it. They were considered the chief agitators of, of what the British called the rebellion, which which we call the, the war for liberty. And in many ways, the clergy were the founding fathers of this nation because they preached the political worldview in the in the founding charters for many years before the American Revol Revolution even began. They made the ideas in the in the American founding charters ubiquitous before the charters were ever written. So that those ideas were well known among the American people. If our age group, Bill, doesn't wake up and realize just how much tyrannical uh, force has been used to suppress our religious liberties today, it's been a slow boil. It's, we're kind of like the frog in the hot pot and it's boiling now. So could you identify some of those tyrannies for us that you are fighting yeah, the against? Tyrannies, the tyrannies, COVID, abortion. It's all based on a lie. It's, it's, it's really an effort to, to uh, diminish the American population. Um, you know, if you look at what happened after World War II, 40 million babies were born after World War II. And I think the, that the Russians looked over at America and saw that and they freaked out. And they undertook a campaign to convince us that we needed to allow abortion, that we needed to reduce our population and so forth. And they're still doing it today through COVID. Um, but it's still still the shedding of innocent blood. And one of the reasons that, that we're calling clergy to the forefront of this battle is because we believe there's incredible power in the pulpits of America. And if, if clergy will assume their duty, assume their responsibility in the pulpit, preach the whole counsel of God, uh, the, this nation can be turned around. 
We, I honestly believe that. And so it's imperative that this happen. And I believe it's, I, be, I believed it's imperative for a number of years. And so we're continuing to press forward on our mission. We want to establish a company of pastors within every political jurisdiction in America, pastors asserting their own and the vital leadership and influence of their congregations within civil government uh, in an effort to secure the blessings of liberty. If the church turned around and took its role in the civil society seriously, and began to to demand that liberty be that liberty be respected and honored, it would it would transform this nation, and so that's what we're seeking to do. That's fantastic, and thank you so much for taking the time to to be with us. This has been Reverend Bill Cook of America's Black Robe Regiment. He will be with us at the First Landing Declaration of Covenant event. Bill, are there any closing words that you would have for those who are watching today? I noticed that you have the Gideon's 300 Pledge on the on your back wall, and I know that Reverend Jack Stagman, who's one of the founders of, of this event, the visionary for the First Landing Declaration of Covenant event, is on that. He's actually signed it back behind you. Is there anything yes, that you see that may be mobilizing? Because Jack tends to say that we're mobilizing the Gideon's 300 at this event. Well, Gideon's 300, you know, Gideon actually conquered a mighty army with a, with a cadre of 300 men. And it doesn't take every, it's not going to take all the pastors in America to wake up and, and, and smell the roses, if you will, and get involved. It's, it's going to be a remnant. It's not going to be a majority, you know? And so, um, that's why, you know, that's why we did the Gideon's 300 event down in Virginia Beach this past uh, summer was because we believe it'll be a remnant. We believe with God, all things are possible, that, that God can save this country if we will give ourselves to him wholeheartedly and commit to doing yeah. that. You're right. It is a remnant. And the Lord told me years ago, and I put it in my book, Pray America Great, that the remnant revives the root. And the root that I'm talking about are these civil covenants that are actually stored and recognized in heaven, like the 1607 First Landing Land Dedication Covenant. We will be there together, Reverend Bill Cook, myself, and many yes. others, to promote the revival and the renewal of this covenant to America and for America and for our children and our children's children. We hope to see you there. Thanks again, Reverend Cook, for being with us today. Please let people know how they can reach you before we close. They can reach me on our website, abrr.us. They can send me an email at blackroberev at leader.com and uh, would love to hear from them. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us here on On a Mission to Rededicate America to God. I'm Donica Hudson for Buzz TV. Thank you and goodbye.